Hi guys. So I'm so excited to make this video. Okay, so let me get comfortable. If you watched my last video, you know that I have reached out to some companies to request products for use in role plays and in videos and to review and I am looking for products that are relaxation based as obviously those of you coming to my videos are here for relaxation so I'm looking for things that I think you guys would like one or I'm looking for things that that can be used as props in role plays which is mostly going to be things you would like anyway so makeup not all of you are going to like the makeup but makeup would, and brushes and things that would be good to do for a role play also um, massage lotions things like that um, things that you would sell in a spa environment so uh, different items that are for um, wellness things like that. And a lot of them will send two products that I can give one away. Uh, this product that I'm going to talk about right now, I'm going to do kind of an unboxing, but I've already opened it so I can show it to you. Uh, this one is a relaxation one that I think you guys will like, that I'm really excited about. Um, and it is, I'll show you the box. So it is a Zach Jellyfish light mist aromatherapy. So let me tell you why I'm so excited about this. If you've watched my videos for a while, especially if you've watched any of my workshop videos, you know that as much as I love scent, and I will often smudge in here with bergamot and things like that, I don't use candles anymore because I notoriously light a candle because I want the scent and I leave the house and go grocery shopping with a candle lit in my house and my husband short of forbidding me because he he knows not to forbid me to do anything um uh, has really suggested strongly that candles are a bad idea for me and I eventually agree with him so I'm always looking for an aromatherapy product that will work for me that's not a candle. So I've tried a few different things. I have tried kind of store-bought um, either misters that have like some aromatherapy in them and it sprays out or something that you can get at like the drugstore that has a scent in it. Um, and I have not been happy with those. Uh, the ones that are not plugged in or battery operated. I have not liked those. I thought, I think the scent, um, I'm sure there are exceptions, but the ones I have tried, the scents were very synthetic and that's not what I want. So then I have bought some products that were battery operated and they're okay, but they're battery so it means that the battery runs out and it's just one more thing I have to do is I have to get another battery and I don't just keep a bunch of batteries in my house and I re use rechargeable batteries and as easy as you would think it would be to keep rechargeable batteries recharged. We never have enough of them in the house and so we're always like borrowing from Peter to, save, to pay Paul so like I'm stealing batteries from one thing to charge them to use them in another thing and then in theory, going to switch around and charge the other batteries. But it means that there are things like my camera that never have batteries for it. So I was so excited to see this product because it plugs in. And I like, I like things that plug in because that it's, I have a lot of plugs around my house, batteries I do not have. So let me just read to you a little bit about this one. And all the information for the product is going to be below. This is going to be a prop in a role play. But it's a prop that since it's not a product I'm going to use on the body, in a normal role play, I would talk about something like this a little bit 
but not in the detail that I want to tell you guys about it. So I figured I'd make this video, tell you all about it, and then I'll talk about it a little bit when I use it as a prop in a role play. Um, but you'll see it again. You'll probably see it again a lot. It may even live back here because I'm really happy with it so far. But it smells so good in this little closet right now. <laughs> okay. Meet the maker, Zach. We believe, and it's Z-A-Q, we believe any environment can be transformed into a sanctuary of tranquility, which is why we are committed to providing the tools you need to create the sanctuary. We make diffusers and prepare essential oils for retail and online sales so that you can be as committed as we are to health and wellness in every aspect of your daily life. They did not send, the, this box does not come with any essential oils, which I would have loved to try what their essential oils are like. Having said that, I have a lot of essential oils. I have very, very good quality essential oils that I use in massage. And then I have some questionable quality essential oils that I have bought from Indonesia. When my husband does research in Indonesia and we've lived there, so we, we I have, although I haven't been in five years, um, when we would go, and we would go pretty frequently, about once a year, once every two years. Um, my go-to, I still have rupia in my pocket that I need to spend at the airport. I would go to one of the airport stores, and they would have like a 10-pack little box of um, essential oils. And I would always get that with the rest of my rupia. So they're little tiny bottles. Um, they're questionable quality. I, I don't know how synthetic they are. I, I don't know. Um, so I tend to use them as um, aroma rather than anything I would mix in a massage oil to use on the body. Uh, so I have a lot of those. Um, and I actually today used some jasmine so it's a really strong scent. It's, a, it's almost overpowering for here. It's not yet. If I had left this on, it would have been. But um, I'll, I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Um, I'm just going to read you one more thing on the box here. Uh, Discover our re rejuvenating diffusers. We pride ourselves on craftsmanship of our products. Each arom aromatic diffuser is compact, energy efficient, and built with durable materials designed to nurture re relaxation, creativity, and comfort for many years. Paired with our essential oils, these are the tools you need to transform your space into a sanctuary of tranquility. And I'll probably buy one of their essential oils when I need some, um, just as a thank you uh, for sending me this. So I'll read, for those of you who really like just the description stuff, I'll do that too. But for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you what is the product. So this is the product. And this top comes right off real easy. And inside, you put water. And they actually even send you, I'll, I'll show you, they send you like a little uh, pitcher that you can... Uh, use to pour the water in. Nice extra little thought. Yes, you could always use a glass, but it's it's nice to have a pitcher that comes with it. And then you put three to five drops of essential oil in. Okay, so then, and it is, even has a spout. They really, the more I look at this product, the more I really like it. Um, they even have a little spout on the inside, so like if you decide you want to change out the water, if like you've left the water too long and it got gross or something, you can easily pour it out without getting it all over the place because it's got a spout. Nice, very nice little thought. So then you put this on, okay? So then there are two buttons. One says light, one says mist. Here is mist, and I don't know if you can see it, there is, let's see if I can get it close enough so that you can see it. Yeah, you can see a little bit against my hair. You can see the mist coming off. I'm going to turn it off or else I'm going to drown in scent. Jasmine's a really strong scent. Um, so in this little closet, it would be a bit much. You hit the button once, turns the mist on. Hit the button again, turns the mist off. Here is the light. 
Um, okay, so here we go. Are you ready? This is why it's a jellyfish. Let's see if you can see it okay. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it good. Let's see if you can see it better with the light on. So now it's blue. Okay, yeah, you can see it okay with the light on. Now it's blue. Now it's turning green. Green you can't see too well. Now it's turning purple. It's a really beautiful purple. Now it's blue again. Now it's green again. Now it's red and then purple and then blue. Oh, now it's moving, kind of going faster. You hit the light again. Let's pick a color that... There's the red. Okay, yeah, you can see the pink pretty good. You hit it twice, the light will stay that color. You hit it once, it will cycle through. You hit it the third time, and it'll go off. Um, I'm bummed that turning the light off didn't work, that it just kind of messed with the... Um, auto light settings. I was hoping it would show it to you better, but I, I think you were able to see it pretty well. Uh, so that is, I'm actually considering having it a nightlight in my son's room. Um, now my son will hit the button for the mist and his room will smell like a brothel, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll use less scent in his room. He will have. He will just go nuts with it. This is a little pitcher that comes with it, um, and you get two little books in here. Uh, now that you have a Zach diffuser, wouldn't it be great to learn about the world of aromatherapy? Which is really nice. So um, I can sign up for their newsletter, and I'll find out about. Um, They'll give essential oil suggestions, special offers, advance notice of new products, aromatherapy tips and tricks, uh, ideas for healthy living. I will probably sign up for that just to remind me that when I need uh, aromath another set of essential oils that I'll get some from them. And let's see what it says in here. Designed for unique comfort and style, Jellyfish celebrates individuality and unabashed creativity. The distinct slant on top of jellyfish brings a unique flair. Look at the unique flair. <laughs> um, and style sell, setting jellyfish apart from typical diffusers in both quality and design. Jellyfish reflects the unique art of creativity inherent in every true individual to complement the elements in your room that make it truly yours. That's nice. Um... Light Mist Aromatherapy, innovative and unique design, allows Zach's aromatherapy diffuser to fit with any decor. It combines modern science with the soul of both Eastern and Western culture and to allow you to enjoy the relaxing, soothing, invigorating, or stimulating effects of your favorite essential oils. It's also got a one-year limited warranty. Uh, it's BPA-free. I don't... Yeah, I mean, you're not going to drink out of it, but, but you are heating something, so I'd rather not have BPA in it. It's nice that they think to tell you that it doesn't have BPA. Um, yeah, do not turn on without water in the water reservoir. That's maybe That may be the only difficult thing, um, but you're not going to leave the mister on forever. You're going to leave the mister on until you can smell the scent in the room. Then you're going to turn it off. So, again, you don't even have to lock this top. It just pulls right off. So you can always check and see, like, okay, how much water is in there uh, before you hit the mist button. Um, I like that it doesn't... As much as it might pour out a little easier if you knocked it, um, it's just convenience. I think it's a very convenient product. I think it's a nice little addition to your wellness arsenal. Um, you can change out the scent all the time. My parents used to have something. I don't even know what it was. But it would cycle through scents. Uh, you could plug it in. You could set it for a certain amount of time. And it would cycle through three or four different scents. Which I always thought was kind of cool. Um, 
but the scents were very synthetic smelling, so I wouldn't have actually wanted that product. But um, the nice thing is, is you could pour just a little bit of water in, put one drop, diffuse at the end of the day, pour that out, pour another little bit of water, one drop of essential oil, have a completely different scent, um, and not feel like you're wasting a bunch of essential oils. So you could do your eucalyptus in the morning and lavender at night, and you could even use, you know, the little container to like pour whatever was left of the eucalyptus in here and then pour more water in kind of have rotating water, whatever. Um, but one drop of essential oil, even if I didn't use it all, I wouldn't feel too bad. So, so that is the Zach Jellyfish. Um, let me see if there's anything else in here. I'm, I may read you a little bit more on the, uh, on the box. To clean it, basically you rinse the water tank and use a cotton swab to wipe down the more difficult to reach grooves and then wipe it clean, and then refill, and that's it. Um, if you want to clean it even more, add half the usual amount of water and four to five drops of white vinegar. Let the diffuser run for three or four minutes. Empty the reservoir, and then it's it will run like new again. I don't mind the smell of vinegar, so that wouldn't bother me. Uh, some people would, but it's got little troubleshooting tips. You will be seeing this. This will be a really nice addition to a spa massage video. Um, you probably won't see another diffuser. Uh, I'm going to avoid getting multiples of the same kind of product. So unless something catastrophic happens with the Zac, this will probably be the only uh, um, diffuser that you will see in my videos. And if you want to just relax, I will quietly read you the rest of the box. The packaging is also nice. Uh, I think it's, it's really sturdy and well made. I think the whole thing is very sturdy and well made. So that's the product. You will be seeing uh, hopefully more items like this that I can use in role plays. Uh, this one will definitely get used in a role play. They won't all get their own videos because um, a lot of the spa products that I could use like in a massage, it'll make sense to just talk about it during the role play. This would have been a, whole, a hard one to really give you the details on in a role play. How much are you going to talk about your diffuser if you're giving somebody an aromatherapy treatment? <laughs> uh, so I want to do a separate one. But uh, if you want to now relax and just nod off, I'm going to read you the back of box. I'm going to shut this box. And thank you for watching this. And hopefully we're going to have some cool new stuff in videos. Designed for unique comfort and style, Jellyfish celebrates... Oh, I already read that. That's what was inside. Okay. With different essential oils, you can improve your mental, physical, and emotional state. Customizing your home into a space that alleviates stress, provides mental serenity, and rejuvenates your household. Jellyfish uses more than just mist, though. The steady light encased in a translucent white changes colors for an effect that is reminiscent of a jellyfish in the ocean. As a bonus, it's easy to clean. The other thing I might do is put it next to my bed and I wonder if I could get like a chocolate kind of scent or like coffee or something like that. I've always wanted, I once saw an alarm clock where it would do two things that I love. I have a light that will gradually light up like the sun coming up. Um, it's actually a plug that you attach to a lamp and you plug it into the wall eight hours before you want it to start lighting and it will slowly add power to the light bulb so that it just slowly lights up over about an hour. I saw one of those and it was very expensive so I never got it but there was one of those that did that but also had a scent that it would put out and you it had scents like coffee or um, different scents that would wake you up in the morning uh, and you could it would also be nice to have one that you used at night like this would be a really nice thing to have like a lavender in there 
just hit it for a few seconds before you went to bed, kind of creating like a bedtime ritual. Um, and maybe having the light on for a little bit, um, you know, just for like a meditation would be nice too. So my gut is once my son sees it, that's it. I won't get it anymore. It would actually make a really, really nice nightlight. A lot better than the nightlight he has right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, and I end up, he's little, so I end up sleeping in his room with him a lot. And this is something that I think I could sleep through without a problem, but it would be a nightlight for him. So I may try that. But I have a feeling, especially with the scent, he loves the little diffusers I get. I will have come home and first of all, he'll stand right over it and push it and the scent will go right up in his face. And then he'll like push it over and over again so that the house smells terrible. This one I at least can limit how much water is in there and when he runs out, he runs out. Um, but I want to make, I'll have to be careful that he doesn't use it with no water in there. But I'm excited about it and I hope you guys will like it in videos. Alright, I'll talk to you guys again soon.